Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see the sub user feature of FlexiFunnels. All right. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to click over here and inside your dashboard and then you will see this particular tab manage sub users. Okay. You click over here. Now in this tab, uh, uh, when you're doing it for the first time, you're not going to see these because this I have already added as a, you know, for the testing purpose, but you are going to see the option of adding a sub user at the top. You click over there and then you can add an email ID. Now there are two scenarios over here. One is, uh, a email ID that already exists in FlexiFunnels. Let's say somebody already has a FlexiFunnels account and another one can be another ID of an email ID, uh, you know, in, in, in which case the ID does not exist. So let's suppose, uh, let's say I put an email ID, uh, let's say this. Okay. And let's have a look. So if you will see, it says that this ID already exists in the name of Saurabh. So this is one of my test IDs and uh, I can add it as a sub user. Now the sub user has been created successfully and this particular email ID has also received an email that you have been added as a sub user. Okay. I will just show you in a minute. At the same time, let's add a different ID that is, that should not be existing. Let's say I add uh, some, some parameter over here. Let's say flexi at gmail.com. Let's see if this exists or not. Yeah. Do you see? So now I will have to add my name as well. So this ID is not in the database of FlexiFunnels. So the name is not there. I will have to add it as a sub user. And in this case, uh, so I have this email ID open with me over here. In this case, I would have received an email once again. So let me go back. So this is the ID that I have just added. Okay. This is the ID that I have just added. Uh, okay. Probably this one. <laughs> so I've added the same name everywhere. Yeah. This is the ID at the end. So if I will go and check and you will see your FlexiFunnels account credentials. So I have received this email wherein I have received the uh, login URL, username and password. All right. So uh, these three things I have received. So this is as a new user at the same time, if I want to see the ID that already exists. So in that case, what is going to happen is it is going to simply say that, uh, let me show you. It is going to simply say that use your existing password. So if an ID already exists, if you will see this one, like I showed you that it already exists. So it will simply say, say that this ID already exists. Okay. So now the sub user has been added and uh, let me open one incognito window. Okay. Uh, and in that incognito window, I'm going to log in using that, using this particular sub user access. Okay. So this is a new account and let's log in over here. All right. So if I'm a sub user, what is going to happen? And if I'm a sub user, okay, two things. If I'm a sub user and I don't have an existing FlexiFunnels account. So the first thing it is going to show me is that you need to switch to the sub user. I mean, switch to the main user. So the main user is this account. Okay. Main user is this account from where we created the sub user. So this is the main vendor account. If you will see that the main vendor account name is also Saurabh. So that's why it was showing you switch to Saurabh. Okay. So now I have switched to Saurabh, but now as you can see the arrow in this particular incognito window, see, this is the incognito window just for clarity. This is the incognito window in which I have logged in as the sub user. And this is the main window in which I have logged in where my photograph is there in which, you know, uh, uh, I'm the vendor basically. So in the incognito window, you can see this arrow, right? So this user is now logged in as a, this user got it. So if I will go to projects as of now in from the sub user perspective, I cannot see any project. I cannot see any product. Okay. If you will see you are now authorized to view this page and I cannot see any funnels as well. I cannot see anything basically. Uh, let me go to settings as well. I cannot see that as well. Okay. Let's have a look. So I cannot see settings. I cannot see anything. Got it. So now what we need to do is what happened over here? <laughs> okay. So now what we need to do is, uh, 
in the vendor account we need to give some permissions do you want to give permission like suppose there are some projects number one do you want to give this particular sub user the permission to create projects or not uh, if you want to give that you can enable it over here and then this is the permission to edit so how many projects do you want that this user should have access to all projects or the particular project let's suppose you want to give access to a particular project let's suppose one two three four five and six okay let's suppose these six projects i have given access to let me go to the sub user account and in the sub user account let me refresh over here all right and now you will see that i have got access as a sub user to these six projects at the same time i've got access to the button which is create new project however if i disable it let me click on save and let me refresh over here so in this case, you will see that the create new project button has gone, right? And this is how simply you can play around with the settings and you can give access to whatever you want. For example, in the products, do you want to give access to uh, creating some products or not? Do you want to give uh, access to uh, some products or all the products? Similarly, in funnels, do you want the sub user to create funnels or do you want them to have editing access to some particular funnels? Totally in your hands. At the same time, about the reporting dashboard. Can they see the reporting dashboard or not? Now in the reporting dashboard, one thing that we have done uh, very smartly over here is for example, okay, let's do one thing. <clears throat> in the products, let's give access to a few products, okay? Let's say, let me let me give access to this, 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 this. Um, I just want to ensure that uh, some products are selected in which recently we have done some sales. Okay, uh, this is our testing account, by the way, so that's why I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, I've given the access now. Let's go to the products tab. Let's refresh this. And now I've got access to the some of the products, okay, as you can see. <clears throat> now over here, if I will go to the reports tab, all right. Let me go to the overview window. And let's wait for the stats to come up. Okay, so I, I can see all these products for which we are given the access, but for these products, there are no sales that have happened in the last 30 days. Okay, all right. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's give access to all the products. Okay. Now we have given the access and let's refresh the window. But you, you got the point, right? The point is that you are only going to, the sub user is only going to see the reports of the products for which this particular sub user has got access, not all the products. So that way your data is safe. That way your data is clean. And uh, basically, you know, you, you are only showing access to all the products for which the sale has been done. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if some sales have happened in this particular account. Let me have a look. Okay, uh, no sale in the last 30 days. How about, let's say we make it all time. Okay, yeah. some sale, okay, one sale. <laughs> so this is a testing account, like I said, but you got the point, right? You will only see access to the uh, pages in which, uh, I mean, the products for which the access has been provided. Now, let me also show you one more thing. Uh, let's, let's, let's talk about the settings. So in the settings also, you can give access to only a certain area. For example, let's say, uh, not all the order responders, but just one. Okay, not all the payment gateways, let's say just one. Okay, and let me click on save. Now, and in the products, let me give the access to creating the products. I will show you why. Let's go to the products. So I've given access to just two uh, orders, uh, I believe just one order responder and just one uh, this thing, uh, payment gateway. Let me create a new product. Let's make it a digital product. And let me call it test product. Okay, let me click on dive. 
and you will see that in the payment option i have received i can see just one payment option that's it i'm not seeing all the payment gateways just one so if you are working with multiple clients let's suppose so you will be having multiple clients payment gateways over here but you can show just one to a particular sub user all right at the same time the stats are also visible just for one of these products i mean whatever you want to enable uh, in the pricing settings you can play around of course let's say just quickly make it 10 um main thing is let me go to the set product rules and select an order responder and in the order responder settings you will see that this user can only see one order responder for which they have been given the access so if you will see it is all detailed fully detailed right uh, we are only showing those aspects for which they have received the access and not showing at all any other uh, settings any other order responder any other payment gateway any other product or anything for which they don't have the access for example let me go to the edit uh, edit of uh, this particular page let's suppose and in the page settings also when i'm connecting an order responder it will be the same thing right i will just show you one second so i'm putting a form and in the form settings for example let's say if i want to connect a order responder you will see that i can see just one order responder that's it i can connect with the list and all but just one i cannot connect with any uh, you know any other order responder or anything else so that is how you know detailed the sub user feature we have created and uh, we we have ensured that you can uh, create nine sub users so that's a lot and at the same time you can give as much detailed permissions as you like uh, based on your work and uh, yeah it's it's right in your hands right let me know if you have any questions put it down in the comment box and uh, happy to help thank you so much